I'm not sure if the commissioner of agriculture in Florida, Nikki Freed, has fired her advisors and hired new ones, or whether she just personally has had a wake-up moment. But her last few political moves have been nothing short of brilliant. Now, I don't think, at the moment at least, the governor, Ron DeSantis, has anything to worry about in the next election, but this is something they need to keep an eye on. These moves were brilliant. The tactics are impeccable. Now, what am I talking about? This picture in and of itself, when the Florida judge lifted the mask mandate, the Biden CDC mask mandate, all the people way over on the left got all upset. What did she do? She smiled and said peace to those who are wearing masks and those who are not. Things are starting to get back to normal. And she tried to equate somehow that the vaccine had something to do with the fact that most people don't or aren't wearing masks these days. And that just set the left on fire. Now, some would think, well, that's a terrible strategy. It's absolutely a brilliant strategy. Because she's realized the hard left is not going to win any elections for her. But the middle could. Now, on top, now, if this was just all she did, I would say, don't be worried. But then she came out and did something spectacularly smart. She's suing the Biden administration. Why? Well, she has a medical marijuana card. And she has a concealed carry. And technically, that's a violation of federal law. And she's suing the Biden administration saying, hey, this is absolutely wrong and a violation of my rights and a violation of the Second Amendment rights of Floridians. You see, these are things that Floridians care about. Now, I'm not a big believer in the whole medical marijuana thing, but there are a lot of Floridians who are. 71% of Floridians, by the way, were for medical marijuana. It passed with flying colors. So she's picked up a couple of topics that are going to be kind of tough for the governor to dance around. I don't know how he's going to deal with it, but this is absolutely brilliant. I'll say it again. There are a lot of people out there who think maybe the governor is a little bit too far to the right. Maybe he's a little bit too authoritarian. I mean, they agree with him on a lot of things and things have gone well here in Florida, but there's always this desire amongst people to want to uh, get behind the underdog. And Nikki Freed is a sharp cat. I don't agree with her on a lot of things, but she is a smart woman. Now, years ago, I said, a lot of people misinterpreted what I said. I said that Gillum came out of nowhere. Even he surprised the Democrats in Florida. They had no idea who he was. Mayor of Tallahassee, he wasn't even supposed to be on the ticket in the primary for the Democrats. Meaning he wasn't even supposed to be qualified to run against the other Democrats who were going to try to run against Ron DeSantis. And he came out of nowhere and beat all of them and almost won. I think it was, what, 30,000 votes? I called this then. And mark my words. Mark my words. If she keeps up this tactic of distancing herself from the Biden administration and talking about things that matter to real Floridians, the governor might have to worry about this. Now, we're going to do a much deeper dive on the specific tactics. She's using three. Three specific psychological operations tactics that when you see them, you'll go, oh, okay, I get what she's doing. But you'd have to be read in. You would have to understand what's going on and why people would be susceptible to this. This is what we teach over at the Patreon channel. We're going to have that video up. This afternoon, guaranteed, my promise to you guys, thank you for being patient. I know we haven't put one up in a couple of weeks, a psychological operations training video. I was waiting for this. I was hoping this would happen because it's a great teaching opportunity. 
when some from the left are going to start to gravitate toward the middle, the tactics that they're going to use are very specific. One U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. Gloves off, partnering with Vimeo. You guys know the story. Now, Nikki Freed defends maskless photo on plane, claims Democrats, quote, made it possible. Freed said that vaccines are working and things are getting back to normal, but that's why, that's not why there are no masks on planes. That might be true. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. Who knows? Things getting back to normal. That's a very generalized statement, but it still has nothing to do with the order being ruled unlawful by a Florida judge. A recent tweet from Florida Agriculture Commissioner and Democratic gubernatorial candidate Nikki Freed landed her in hot water with critics from both sides of the aisle turning up the heat. A maskless Freed gestured a peace sign toward her selfie camera and one tweet attached to the photo was the caption, Peace out to the TSE mask mandate, but also peace and respect to others whether wearing a mask or not. Critics slammed Freed for a decision to go maskless, labeling her an ableist and irresponsible in saying she should remain on the safe side and mask up on her flight. Rout didn't think we were allowed to have opinions about other people's health care. Hmm. Others added that the post was enough to reason to retract their support for Freed and throw it behind her Pelosi-endorsed Democratic rival Charlie Crist. Freed doubled down on her decision, however, commenting in the thread and pushing back against the criticism in an act of self-defense that again placed Democrats at the crux of the debate. Now, here's here was the defense saying, okay, if you're going to support... Nikki Freed, pardon me, if you're going to support Charlie Crist over Nikki Freed, he was, speaking of Crist, pro-life, anti-LGBTQ, pro-oil drilling, and mandatory, and for mandatory prison minimums. Now, I'm not sure how many of these things he's gone back on, or whether he's still a Democrat or Republican. That's the big thing against Crist, is that nobody knows, but that's not the big story. This is the big story. Top Florida Democrat sues Biden administration over marijuana and guns. Let me see if I can zoom this in here. Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed's lawsuit targets a federal requirement that prohibits medical marijuana users from purchasing firearms. Florida's lone statewide elected Democrat, Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed, plans to sue the Biden administration Wednesday to try to block a federal rule that prohibits medical marijuana users from buying guns or maintaining concealed carry permits. Or maintaining the, per the permit by itself. The lawsuit targets a federal form that asks whether the gun buyer is an unlawful user of drugs and specifies that marijuana is illegal under federal law. A person allowed by the state to use marijuana must then check yes, which results in denial of the purchase. Lying by checking no runs the risk of a five-year prison sentence for making a false statement. False statement, pardon me. Freed, whose office oversees concealed weapons permits and regulates some aspects of medical marijuana, argues in her lawsuit that the form violates the Second Amendment rights of lawful medical marijuana patients and runs afoul of a congressional budget prohibition on federal agents interfering with state-sanctioned cannabis laws. So on top of this, she's also coming out for states' rights. The suit has ramifications beyond Florida. At least 37 states have legalized medical marijuana, and recreational use is legal in 18 states, as well as Guam and D.C. The suit is laden with political opportunity for free. That is an understatement. Who became the only Democrat elected statewide in 2018 when she ran on an unabashedly pro-cannabis platform. Two years before, 71% of Florida voters legalized medical marijuana and polls show a majority favor legalization of recreational use. Florida also has 2.5 million concealed weapons permits holders. Her quote, Medical marijuana is legal. Guns are legal. This is all about people's rights, Freed said in a statement to NBC News. And I don't care who I have to sue to fight for their freedom. Freedom of Floridians. In her official capacity as Agriculture Commissioner, Freed is bringing the suit with three citizens who have been affected by the federal rules. It names the acting head of the BATF and Explosives Attorney General Merrick Garland as defendants. 
while it's rare for a Democrat to sue a Democratic administration during an election year, Freed said the issue can no longer wait because of the volume of complaints her office has received. No, apparently Biden's not, not all about this. And this lawyer has talked to Joe about this personally. They say here, and he just won't do it. Joe Biden doesn't understand marijuana, Morgan said. This uh, John Morgan, a Florida trial lawyer. I wonder if that's the guy from Morgan and Morgan. Although he likes Freed's marijuana policy, Morgan is backing her rival, Charlie Crist. So there you go. This is going to raise her um, popularity in a big, big way in Florida. When you read through this article. In addition, unlike the other unsuccessful federal case, Freed's lawsuit argues that the form violates the so-called Rohrabacher Farr Amendment, which prohibit, prohibits ATF from enforcing anti-cannabis policies in states that have opted for legalization, one of the biggest states' rights rulings ever. Freed's office said that instead of accommodating states that have legalized marijuana, ATF changed its gun-buying form, known as 4473, by specifically adding a warning the use or possession of marijuana remains unlawful under federal law, regardless of whether it has been legalized or decriminalized for medicinal or recreational persons in the state where you reside. Big deal, guys. This is a big, big deal. Because there are certain things that politicians talk about that nobody really cares about. It doesn't affect them. In Florida, this kind of thing is super popular because it has to do with your individual sovereignty your individual ability to make a decision for yourself. And look, I'm not a personal fan of marijuana. I believe it's as much of a gateway as anything else. To give you an example, at 16, you can get a driver's license and you can get behind the wheel of basically a 5,000 pound missile loaded with explosives and flammables. That's what a car is. Steel, rubber, plastics, glass, aluminum, and explosives. At 16, you can get a license to go barrel one of those things down the highway at 70 miles an hour. At 16. But you have to be 21 to purchase alcohol. Now, when I was in high school, you could buy regular cigarettes at 16, but that's been moved to 18. So if you make the argument for medical marijuana that you can regulate it by age, and the same thing with firearms as well, you can regulate that by age, you make the argument that it can be regulated. You just have to determine an age. And this is, at its crux, D.C. versus Florida. D.C. federal law versus state law. And right now, in these particular venues, Second Amendment and medical marijuana, Nikki Freed is standing up for states' rights and the people of Florida. Don't think for one minute that's going to go unnoticed. See, she's abandoning the national left. She's done it in one fell swoop, completely abandoned, blew it on Twitter, and the hardcore leftists to stand up for the people of Florida. Now, like I said, I don't think the governor at the moment has anything to worry about, but this is a big, big, big deal and something everyone needs to watch. We'll see how this goes, but I'll leave it there. Like I said, we're going to continue this, a deeper dive, showing the three specific tactics that she's using over at Patreon. One U.S. dollar. It would help me out more than you would know. I would really appreciate having you guys there. Like I said, you sign up for an entire year. 
it's even less than a dollar a month. And it is fully refundable, first 90 days. There's probably since January at least a dozen videos that we've done. And there's a whole library also of videos that go back all the way to 2017, 2018. So I think Grand Total is like 90-something videos over there. So there's plenty of content right now. But we're going to be putting up another one talking about the tactics, the techniques, how this works, and why people are going to gravitate to this. So psychological operations, it's the thing. Keep your eyes open. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.